Hey squad, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike and on today's video we are going to bust open the myth of blood thinners. The term blood thinner is universal and sadly nothing more than a wives tale. I assume the medical community simply came up with this term to help the general public and patients understand what the hell the doctors were prescribing to them. So then what the heck are blood thinners? The category of blood thinners is composed of anticoagulant and antiplatelet drugs. Both classifications of drugs inhibit the clotting cascades in their own ways. Let's first discuss anticoagulant drugs. These drugs affect and change the clotting cascade directly. There are four types of anticoagulants and each affect the clotting cascade in a different fashion. The first being vitamin K antagonists. These reduce the production of the body's natural clotting factors number 2, 7, 9, and 10, and the anticoagulant proteins C and S from the liver. The production of these factors by the liver are dependent on adequate amounts of vitamin K. Medications that are vitamin K antagonists are warfarin, also known as Coumadin and Jantovin. Second, there are low molecular weight heparins and regular heparins alike. Both block the action of the clot promoting proteins factors 2 and 10 within the blood, thus preventing the ability for clots to form normally. Medications that are low molecular weight heparins are Lovenox, Fragmin, and of course, Heparin. Third are thrombin inhibitors. They work by blocking the action of thrombin, a protein that is necessary for the coagulation of blood and the formation of clots. Reducing the, uh, the action of thrombin decreases the ability of the blood to clot. Medications that are thrombin inhibitors are Angiomax, Acova, Pradaxa, and Thrombate number 3. Lastly are Factor XA inhibitors. They block the action of clotting factor XA. Reducing the action of factor XA decreases the ability of blood clot by preventing thrombin development and generation. Factor XA inhibitors include Eliquis, Erixtra, Xarelto, and Savoyasa. Platelets are cell fragments produced in the bone marrow that carry enzymes that react and adhere to fibrin meshes during the clotting cascade. When someone takes an antiplatelet medication, they are decreasing the ability of the platelet to stick to these fibrin meshes, making the platelets themselves slick and no longer sticky. I will make a detailed video on the mechanism of action for each classification of antiplatelet drug in the future. But for now guys, that is way too much information for this video. The major antiplatelet drugs you need to be aware of are aspirin, clopidogrel, tirofeban, viraxapar, and cleostazol. Before we end today's video, I want to make a huge shout out to my friend Jared who made the beautiful new flag that sits behind me. He's a U.S. military veteran and a wonderful dude. You can find his Instagram link in the description of this video and future videos if you yourself want to inquire about your own custom wood flag. Well guys, that's it for today. As always, stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video.